It's good to see our new friend, Lee, who's gonna be talking about another form of enrichment here at the Dickerson Park Zoo. What have you got for us? So uh, another essential part of our envir environmental enrichment program is browse. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So browse is all the uh, leaves, branches, uh, shoots, basically edible vegetation you can find in nature. Um, you know, with herbivores and, and ungulates, it's a, it's a pretty essential part of their, their nutrition mm -hmm. to get a lot of high fiber mm -hmm. uh, items. And, uh, and this browse, you know, it uh, helps, helps uh, get some natural feeding behaviors in there. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, rounds out our, our nutritional program. How important is it for the animals here at the Dickerson Park Zoo to have that natural eating, those natural eating habits? Uh, it's extremely. We want to stimulate them with, with as many natural behaviors as possible. Basically mm -hmm. bring as much as we can of their natural environment to them. Um, you know, we can't grow uh, enough trees inside the yard mm -hmm. that, uh, that'll uh, satisfy right. the Yeah, crab. I was going to say so they're going to be. Luckily, we live in a very abundant area and, uh, and have uh, a lot of resources on grounds that we use. Um, we've got uh, some some favorites like American Elm, and look this at that is tug. look at that tongue. I tongue. know it's going. Yeah. To, it's working. It's yeah. working. Yeah, and this is uh, some hackberry in my right hand here. Um, wow. So we do train our staff on uh, plant identification, and browse is something that uh, not only the the zookeepers work on, but also our groundskeeping and uh, mm -hmm. and the horticultural department. They uh, they're pretty essential in what we do here. So how do you get all of these? Do you have people donated? Do you go out and, and scavenger for uh, it? Right now, we pretty much uh, do sustainable harvest here on grounds. Oh, that's amazing. We have a lot yeah. of different species that are that are useful uh, for browse. Like I said, we do have to be careful, make sure to not pick a, a species that is toxic. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're always, if somebody's unsure, double check with somebody yeah. who is, is uh, skilled at identifying. But, uh, but yeah, so we just harvest here on grounds. So there are many you know, like career paths here at the zoo. I didn't even think about you know having to grow this, making sure you can identify. Absolutely. Oh, that's so can awesome. Maddie and I feed some of them? Do of you course, mind? Yeah. You and what what about the in. shoot of this? Is this bamboo? What is this? Is this corn or this is uh, some old reed grass? Oh wow! Yeah. So this do they uh, eat that too? So yeah. They, yeah, they can get reed grass. I uh, I don't know if this is left over from a previous time or okay. <laughs> they were using this for something else. But uh, Oh, look, sharing it. they're sharing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh yeah, that's so Reed grass, cute. bamboo, lots of different species that you know, we grow as well as find here on grounds. Wow. Wow. Yeah, All right, Jeremy. Okay, here we go. I'll help you. Do you guys want some? And I noticed you were kind of pulling it. Do you need to pull it away? Uh, I just, to make sure they don't just uh, steal it and hog it for themselves. Oh, I gotcha. Yes. And I didn't even ask, do we? Do these giraffes all have names? Uh, they do. We've got uh, uh, Callie, Millie, Emma, Jolly, and then our male who uh, is not go. currently in the yard with them is Grady. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. And I, I feel bad for this one. Wars, right? Correct. Okay, Correct. so strictly plant-based diet. This is so much fun. Look, that that one just devoured that whole branch, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> he took the, she took the whole branch. Yeah. Wow. She's having fun. Oh is this their God. favorite treat? Uh, I'd definitely say it's one of. Um, they get a, you know, this feeding deck gives a, a lot of people the opportunity to feed them. They really do enjoy the romaine that they get up there. Mm -hmm. But when we have a, a really, really large event um, where they might get a, a little tired of the romaine, we, I think we I switch over here to the browse. So okay. I think he likes this one. I tried I to give him say. that, but he, she's going to town, sorry. Wow. And they're really nice creatures. Like They're very docile. Yes, exactly. Uh, for the most part, they, uh, you know, any any animals out here uh, yeah. still consider wild. Wild, yeah. And respect what they can do, but yeah, they're uh, they're accustomed to uh, to being around us and, and being uh, under the care of us, and uh, yeah. There cool. you go. And Keep wow. keeping them happy and. <laughs> And we've been talking a lot about, you know, enrichment and, you know, so why is it important for giraffes, you know, to be, I don't want to say tested, but enriched, you know, continuously kind of thinking on their feet, if you will? I think it's essential to, to every to everyone, animal, yeah. even us. You yeah. know, we want to we want to challenge ourselves and, and be, uh, uh, you know, using our brains. And, and out here, they don't generally have to work as hard uh, for their, their food and their resources as they would in the wild. So uh -huh. we... Uh, we Sorry, Matt. Try, <laughs> okay. I'm just waiting for do, it to hit me. Do try to, to provide these opportunities for them to do some problem solving, to have some more choice over over what they're doing, and, uh -huh. and you know, uh, whether it be uh, 
said just the, the feeding behavior or or like I said the competition you between the, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was the two it. giraffes okay. you know that's that's all all a part of life so I uh, yeah I and is you. it true they need to do they sleep standing or standing up or sitting okay. up with their neck up uh they they uh you ready you said oh there you go oh. they're able they are able to lay down oh okay. yes they're able to sleep standing up okay too. ready oh I get it you got get it. it there, there you, go. you go good job wow as, every time I think I, I learned so much about animals, I, I learn even more. Like there's always something to learn about their the way they are, their habitat, what they like to eat. This is so amazing. The Dickerson Park Zoo really cares a lot about the animals, animals and conservation. Absolutely, I appreciate that. We do uh, very much so. Wow. Ivy. Well, I think, what is this one? Because she is go. very hungry. She is uh, not she even left. She cleared me out. She cleared us <laughs> out. Yeah, we are out of leaves for the giraffes. They're on, moving on. Okay, wow, I put it's here. right here, baby. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We're done. Lee, thank you so out. much. Thank you. We thank have you. learned a lot. See, every time I, I see I feel enriched. I feel enriched. Now I, I okay. Every animal's been my favorite so far. I know. 